Hello, this is Andy Ford, and today we're going to use the speech-to-text feature in Premiere Pro. Let's look at the short koala clip. The koala loves to eat. So we have an audio track there, and we can use Premiere to auto-transcribe it. So one way to do that is to right-click on the sequence, and then select auto-transcribe sequence. A panel of transcription options will appear. We use the default settings and click transcribe. In this case, our sequence is short, so this should just take about 20 seconds or so. When it's done, you have options here to export the transcript. But now that our transcription is done, we want to create captions. So we will hit the Create Captions button. Again, a panel will come up with some options for our captions. For now, I'll keep it at the default and hit Create. We can close the panel, and now we will see the caption on our timeline. The koala loves to eat. If you double-click on it, the Essential Graphics panel should pop up. Click on the Edit tab, and you'll see that you can change the text and appearance of your caption. For example, you can change the font, you can change the size, you can change the color, and you can change a lot of the drop shadow options. You can click in your program window and directly edit the text. For example, the koala lives to eat, which is probably also true. You can drag the time that your caption appears. This is editable, just like video or audio would be on the timeline. So with the power of Adobe Sensei, Premiere Pro now has a quick and easy way to generate speech to text, create captions for your video, and allow you to stylize the captions using the Essential Graphics panel. Thank you.